Maybe. Maybe. <sighs> we good? All right. Give me just a sec, guys. Come on. Sorry, OBS and my internet are not liking each other today, like, at all, apparently. I'm still dancing with the Shadow Leviathan. I'm still trying to find my way to the, to the deep red crystal cavern. I'm just trying to finish this game. Well, I don't know if this is finishing the game, but I'm just trying, man. I'm trying to get Alan out of my head. Let's go with that. I see you. Finish this I'm trying. That ah, shines up. I panicked the wrong thing. Let go. Let go, you bastard. I'm trying so hard to finish the story, man. Hydrate. I can do that. I just splattered a fish. And I'm gonna hydrate in game two. So, I think I accidentally found my way back out. <sighs> Full workout. Alright, Archer, give me just a sec. Let me fix this real quick. Because we're just tied up enough that he shouldn't spawn. <sighs> 10 pound arm squats with med ball side to side with med ball. Okay, Archer, give me just a second. Archer's redeemed a full workout, guys, so we're gonna pause for just a moment while I do some exercises. I'm gonna do the squats first, because I've done a lot of squats today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. You want it side to sides with that bowl too? All right, we'll do those real quick. I'm gonna finish with arms. <sighs> okay. Ten side to sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <sighs> what was it for the arms? Ten pounds. Ten pounds. Okay. You grab the 10 pounders. Ugh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thank you for that full workout, Archer. <sighs> Thank you for catching up with that stream elements. So, like I said, I found the red one on accident last time by trying to get out. That is out. So we gotta go back down. Sorry, making sure my lights are off. I see him in the distance. Ack. 
Kijk, 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 kijk. Trying to avoid him, trying to avoid him. I can outspeed him good. This is the deep purple vent zone, so I've dashed all the way through. Damn it. I know the red crystals has to be around here somewhere for the down. But it can't be near the body part. I'm trying not to go too far deep, because if I go too far deep, I end up back up where I was, and that doesn't help us, per se. Mm-mm, mm-mm, not touchy, not touchy, not touchy, not touchy. Not touchy! I don't want to go this way, but I'm kind of dancing around him right now. Damn shadow leviathans. Why do I have to suck at navigation? Why do I gotta suck at the navigational skills? Ooh, bull shark plushy for Boa. Noise. Okay, I don't know where he's gone. I don't hear him anymore. I feel like I've gotta be near the entrance for the red red crystal caverns. Because very few of our friend group is great at navigating. I mean, valid, Boa, but still, like... It's biting me in my butt, like, a lot today. Lurkies, <laughs> valid pup. We are trying so hard to wrap this up. I, for life of me, cannot find the entrance back into the red crystal zone, though. Again, this is what I liked about old Subnautica. It was real easy to kind of find new areas because there's like seven different entrances. This is like one or two. I hear you. Ah, I see his tail. Boop. Mm mm. Mm mm. Not touchy, not touchy, not touchy, not touchy, not touchy. Hey, zap it. What part of not touchy do you not get? I have an ion crystal in this thing for a reason, and if for some odd reason I run out of power, I can always steal from the freaking prawn suit. It also has an ion power cell. <sighs> I don't even remember what exact depth I was at whenever I found the entrance to the red crystal cavern. It's not this. It's never this. This is just a hidey hole. Wanna dive down into the heavy hole? Oh, you betcha. Okay, um... We're gonna do this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Boa, you can set up your own markers. It's just I hate being down here, and I found my way down here once earlier today. Well, twice earlier today. Once into the red zone I'm trying to get to, and I didn't have beacons with me. So... I couldn't set a marker for it. And I found it accidentally trying to find my way out. Which is why I know it's off the purple zone and not off the little hidey hole zones. You'd think by now, Wolf would learn to keep beacons on her, but she doesn't. She goes flat. I know not where he has gone. Because this leads down towards Alan's body part, which we've already found. And that's just a little circular zone. Like, it's it's nowhere near what we need. See, because that, that's the part that leads down to Alan's body part component schematic. Ow. Not quite enough height. How often did you get lost Wonderlands? Hey! Wonderlands, I'm running around the map loot gobliming, alright? I navigate via empty chests, and though they respawn frequently enough that, yeah, it didn't matter. Nope, 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 no touchy. No touchy, you bastard. No touchy. That ah, shiza! Wrong thing, wrong thing. Get, get. Yeet! Shiza, shiza, shiza. Oh, great. If you grab me again, I'm dead. Rabbit hole! Time for rabbit hole! I lost track of you and Pog every two minutes. Hush, it's fine. I hate that I have to get out for this, and I have to pray to God that this isn't one of his spawn zones. Shit. Get back in, get back in! Pilot, pilot, pilot. He's right, bastard, he is. Bebo, you were specifically signed to keep track of Wolf since she navigates as bad as a fresh lieutenant. Hey! <laughs> I know I gotta fix it, but I gotta find a safe hidey hole first. I know this isn't technically safe, but... I don't hear him for the moment. What do you mean you've seen me successfully navigate a maze? I don't think Legend of Zelda maze counts. I can luck my way into things where I need to go. When I don't need to go there. When I need to get somewhere... That's not happening. Case in point, what, 30 minutes of being down here and wandering? Two hours up on the ice shelf wandering looking for Alan's tissue? Schematic. Alright. 
we're just... You're right, Cunt, you know that. At this point, I have the right to call him that. He exists to harass me. I know because I was navigating you through Zelda, but I was talking about mazes a couple of our DMs thought made for good maps. Ah, right. That's logic, though. This isn't logic. This is twisty, turny, fucky wuckiness. All right, and we're back out of the wrong fucking zone. <sighs> so I'm in the- this is the deep purple vents. This is the deep purple vent zone. I legit don't remember where I need to go, and I hate it. Why? Why can I never remember what I need to remember? Like, I legit... I'm trying to, like, clear my brain for a minute. I'm so... No, the model didn't freeze, Boa. I'm just, like, trying to regather my brain to figure out where I need to go down here. Like, I'm just not moving a lot, because I'm sitting here racking my brain trying to figure out where the heck that hole was that I found into the Fabricator Caverns. Like, I'm just so tired. <laughs> now, the internet's cooperating with OBS for now. Ow! Why? I mean, I heard the Eevee, and I definitely felt the anvil. Like, I can see the model moving when I move my head. <sighs> yeah. It might just be on your Rambo. Twitch has been weird today, but my OBS has also been acting up, so. Alright, we're gonna 
try this. One of the tips says to come down here and stick to the left wall. So we can try it and see. But I don't have good luck with the left wall and this Leviathan. I really don't. Because a lot of the tips said stick to the left wall for just surviving down here. And <laughs> I'd ended up on his spawn point. There he is, right there. Shy's a bastard. I know I'm underneath him, but fudge. Oh, Jesus. Don't tell me I got stuck. Come on. There it goes. God ah, bless it. Stop ejecting me out. Yeah, I got stuck and then auto eject me out. The ship in the canal, no dip. I'm just trying to get out of his like grabby range so I can fix this again. I'm oh, no, 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 no. I'm trying so hard. It, I would really wish it would quit trying to eject me out half the time though. We're gonna go back up to the safe zone where he can't spawn real quick. I'm not a fan of being near the purple vents, but... This is the safest thing I can do to protect myself from him. Man, why? Hold up. I can't help but notice that my EMP Don't Touch Me Blast is no longer functioning. Okay, there we go. Took it a minute, but it's it's good now. Ow! Why? Hi, Snow. No touchy. I will keep zapping you till you understand it. I, uh, hi, Snow. I'm trying, man. This game is... Yeah, I heard the anvil. This game is testing my patience tonight. I'm just trying to get Al and his body built. But I can't for the life of me find my way back into the fabricator cave.
noise. Okay, so this is where Alan's body component was, or the schematic for it. Ow. Which makes me think I'm too deep. Ah, oh, Snow, thanks for the biddies. I still don't know why, like, the game's cutting off the animation for it. I don't know what's up with the game window there for that. Oh, oh, guys, guys, we found it. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Okay, I just have to dodge two assholes now and get to where we need to go. <laughs> There's one. Where's the other one? Nope. You touch me, I zap you. Zap. There it is, right there. You got that baker bird! Alright. You guys stay here. Hell no. You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Oh. <sighs> Fucking finally. Back again. Hey, now there's three of them. Use the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then okay. we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Huh. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. 22 You're seconds. A scientist? Like me? Interesting. My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. <laughs> if that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next computer. Wolf, guess what? What's up, Snow? That's a weird looking skeleton, Alan. So you came here to search for a cure? I left the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Alan, what are you not telling me, bud? Chicken butt. Why am I not surprised? So that's his skeleton, loosely. These are his tissues. Okay. Organs. This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home. This doesn't feel like a full body, I'm not gonna lie. Depends. For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. Uh-huh. We have all the necessary components. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. Alan, are you going to come clean or not? I feel like he's going to wait till he's in his real body. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Aww. No wonder he's been so secretive. Yeah. Imagine studying something, trying to understand it, it gets out because of negligence of some kind. Alright, that's not what I thought your final body was going to look like, Alan. Can I please not get stuck for- What are you doing? Research. Tit for tat. You probe my mind. I scan your body. Architect body. The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid incorporating elements and designs from more than 20 DNA sources. Skin. The outer layer of 
tissue has the consistency of leather. The issue, tissue is interlaced with channels of visibility glowing energy powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart, robotic arms. Ellen has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. Now, why didn't we need magnetite? These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. Okay. Limbs. The organic arms are considered secondary to inorganic robotic arms. These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much, much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. The plating might serve it. Blah. Plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. Mobility. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring, exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be a secondary mode of movement from or this architect form. Teleportation. This architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that the architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power to provide this necessary function. Matching DNA fragments appear to be derived from the following sources. The chromium bore of Catwell Prime, an invasive species known for their extremely tough skin, which makes them hard to eradicate. The putty serpent of Opsitkar, the snake is extremely tensile skin, preventing it from tearing and allowing to, to compress itself into small spaces. The electrode eel of Lithon generates an electrically charged slime across its length. Okay, so kind of like the electric eels we have here. The astral rays, moon of Maradon 14. These rays have small organs that generate and store electricity. The shaggy goats of Olympian. These erivivus... Try that again. These erivivus... Try that again. These are herbivores. They're herbivores. Creatures live on rocky foothills in the mountains of planet Olympian and are excellent climbers. The giant geckos of Holt's asteroid. Massive geckos that emit electrostatic charge on its foot pads. This creates a difference in the surface of the geckos climbing. The markers of at least a dozen other biological species are present, but unrecognized at this time. Oh. Interesting. So poor Alan, man. He's the whole reason the car got out in the first place. Yeah. God, that thing is tall. Fucking Can centaur buddy. We're gonna have a headache after this, aren't we? Yup. Mmm. Mmm. Did it work? Are we? Oh man, imagine being able to stretch your limbs after being trapped in somebody else's brain forever. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I don't think it was that much of a, much of a fuck up. Whoa. Okay, the, don't don't pick me up like that. I'm not a baby. Hey. <laughs> You're really not in my head anymore. There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as well? No. Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. Yeah. So now what? I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Make amends. Tell me more. Okay. How do we get you when home? The bacteria escaped. It was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. So your hubris caused this. Oh no. Um, alright. We noticed that a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. Mm-hmm. I thought if we intubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But it would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria okay. got out, affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak then? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern me. I mean... I'm certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. 
Also, basically we have jail time waiting for us when we get back, so. Gate. What gate? Well, at least we've got a marker. I have to go back to the surface the long way. Damn it! <sighs> Save the game. Eat food, drink real water, not PS. <sighs> I've done everything else. Oh, right, I can also unpin that. I've done everything else. We'll just go to the phase gate, but I have to surface. Which is its own brand of hell. Why couldn't this game be nice and give me a teleport? Because they know we'd have left our vessels behind, but still. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Fuck, I see the other one. Say hi to the Leviathans. I don't wanna! I'm tired of dealing with them! Let me go, let me go. Don't you dare, don't you dare. No touchy, no touchy! Not touchy. <clears throat> Alright, pray to God it doesn't take me another 20 minutes to find the way back out. I saw that tail, mister. I don't care if the world hadn't rendered in yet. I saw your tail. Nope, I gotta go this way, don't I? It's already going in circles. Can't leave my lights on, because they like the lights. Is this just a hidey hole? This is just a hidey hole, damn it. It's not even really a hidey hole. Game just teasing me. Jigglypuff. I hear you yell for me, dude. I'm just gonna... You'd think. You'd think I know how to navigate over here by now. I can't help but almost wonder if it's worth dying and respawning back at base. Because I don't care if I lose anything in my inventory, but it just means I gotta build another damn sea truck. Which I don't think I have all the materials for. Hmm. Must try not to die. Damn. <laughs> I see you, you fucking bastard. 
Not touchy, not touchy, not touchy, not touchy. I'm leaving your space as it is. We're out. We're out of the fucking hell zone. We've left hell behind. Thank Jesus Christ. <sighs> Yep, that's a giant zit. Yep, okay. I mean, we're still in the deep purple vents. There's still the asshole who can grab us, but it's not nearly as bad as the other one. No, there's no ghost leviathans in this one, thankfully. There is that a-hole, though. F this for leaving this planet. You. F off. <laughs> He's not nearly as scary anymore after you deal with the friggin' Shadow Leviathan a bunch. Oh, he did get us, I just didn't care. <laughs> I went off this planet. We've wrapped up Sam's storyline. It took us way too fucking long to find Alan's body parts and make Alan a new body. I'm leaving 4546B. Until the third game drops next year. <laughs> At some point. Because yes, we're supposed to be getting another Subnautica-like game in 2025 from the same developers. We don't know if we're on plan 4546B or anything like that right now. And yes, I know B landing it historically has not worked for me, but we're gonna try it this time. Is this by Alpo Zero? I think it is. Neat. Alright, so we're lying on thermal lilies for heat. Got it. Um, I think I gotta go up here though. Come on. Come on, come on. It's hailing and thundering and lightning and eek. It is the ick. I can go over there, but anyway, um, heat. Don't die of hypothermia. I feel kind of bad. We're just leaving Marguerite on this rock. Although, let's be fair, she's made herself a home here. She probably wouldn't like us trying to get her off this planet anyway. Subnautica micrograph? Oh god. Oh. Okay. I could have found this earlier. Interesting. So, we were definitely over here and we were definitely studying it. Oh! Hi, Alan. Nice to see you made it up from the Are depths. You to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Why does that look like a giant microscope of weirdness? Oh no, it's 100% true, Boa. 
It's a hundred percent true. Let's be real here. Pissed myself again. All right, what do you want, you weird RBGB centaur? Do you still wish to leave with me? Beyond this teleporter, there is no turning back. I'm fine with that. I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry. Okay. If they live at all. Or you could find peace. Family. I hope you are right. Please complete any business you still have on this planet. I'm done on Join this planet. On the other side when you are ready to leave. I am so done with this planet. I thought I was going to be tired of Subnautica, like, 4546B at the end of Subnautica 1. I wasn't. This time I'm tired of this planet and I'm ready to leave. <laughs> Where are we? Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. <laughs> Only for the last millennium. It will lead us home. Just a millennium. You yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe. In Mom, pick me up. I'm scared survive. the game. Just about. Yeah. That is massive. Which, I mean, in Phase Gate is massive, but still. Just chilling under the ground for a millennia. Altera we couldn't find it. The energy masks must be moved into place. Oh, that's the ship? Cool. Well, this is different. The fudge, dude. Alright. We got Ruby the arms. I'm assuming this is what he's talking about over these things. Yeah. Have the arms given me the power to levitate as well? I guess so. Noted. I'm a little bit creeped out now. He gave you a TK arm and claw, apparently. Okay. Very good. Return to me and I will initiate ship assembly. Thank you. The masks are in place. The okay. energy field is ready. There Enjoy your arms back, us. bud. You're not very good with the TK arms. Apparently not. Ellen, I can't just yeet myself over the fucking... Oh. Shit, was I supposed to stay up there? Okay. Okay, so this is the ship. That is the phase gate. Okay. Now I understand. I guess I was supposed to stay up here. Whoops. I'm not very good at listening either. Oh, well. Guess it didn't matter. Up. Ow. Fudge. Ow. I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. No kidding. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Uh, is this huh. permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found so the I don't. I, I don't get a bed or anything for this trip, do I? Shit. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. That looks a little. Is like half his body missing? Brace myself. Um, I guess here, like his body looks smaller during that, like as he's integrated. You don't think so? Okay, like it just looks smaller to me. It could just be the angle, too. So the only 
thing is, is does the phase gate close behind us? Because if not, Altera's gonna register this phase gate. They're gonna come through. Oh, this is trippy. He's no longer lit up and the arms aren't making him look bigger. Ah, that's fair. That rock What will we find when we get there? If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimming. That's depressing. Jesus Christ, Alan. Like, it's true, but it's depressing. Did that phase gate just drop on straight into his homeworld's atmosphere? It did! Interesting. And if they survived? With you. I am ready to face whatever awaits. That was cool. It definitely looks like concept art, though. Is that the end? That's the end, isn't it? Yep. Leap 4546B. Aw, they friend. They are friend. That's below zero. We did defeat it before the end of January. So that makes me happy. Um... <laughs> I will definitely say uh, I'm going to preemptively hang on one sec. Barely. Hey. We are going to exit out of that because I don't want to deal with the uh that was pushing it. LOL. Hey. We did it. It is strictly based upon the fact that like I was not expecting to miss like two Subnautica streams because I wasn't feeling good, okay? But I did do it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a good thing. Uh, we're gonna quit out of this game. And is my just chatting kind of working? It's kind of working. Okay, cool. I'll take it. It was amazing. It was! <laughs> it was very fun. <laughs> Four hours left to spare. Hush. It was done. It was done. I kept my promise. And to be fair, we started this like a week and a half into January. So I didn't even get the full month of January. So, hush. <laughs> I'm trying here. But, anywho, <laughs> that was Blue Zero. Um, I gotta say, I liked the story and the progression of one more than I did of Zero. Zero feels a lot more open, however, like, one, you found more clues. Like, you found the Degasi, uh, yes, I did just pull up Germany's time zone to check. <laughs> <laughs> but like with one you found you know the other life pods you found the Degasi it felt a lot more open and even as you were going down deeper and deeper into the 4546B to find answers it was still very open because it had to have room for the Cyclops this one because they limited us to a side tr uh, sea truck and a like prawn suit they left it more tight and more cramped so it felt more almost claustrophobic to me in a reality like the time going down deeper and stuff it didn't feel like this natural progression as much which kind of sucks in my opinion but i understand what they were doing you're in a much smaller map zone you're in a much more condensed zone like you're dealing with the constant glaciers and everything which i'm a little sad the glaciers didn't move but i understand animating that and programming that would have been a whole other nightmare more claustrophobic and more busy yes it makes it harder to feel like you're branching out more because there is so much, oh, I go 200 meters here and then I drop down 300 meters and there's all the diamonds I need. Or I go 200 meters over here or 1,000 meters in one direction, skimming the surface, hoping to find, you know, Marguerite's base or whatever. Like, there's not as much range. Subnautica 1, there was more range in the fact that I could go all the way to the far, like, southeast corner of the map. And I could still make my way down into the central part of the map from that side. I can go all the way to the northwest corner of the map and do the same thing. This you very specifically have to go into the final zone from the Crystal Caverns. There's only two entrances to the Crystal Caverns. So it's kind of hard. And if you come in from the wrong entrance like I did, it can take you a lot longer to find the main entrance to the Red Crystal Zone where the Fabricator Base is. And that's just because of how claustrophobic and tight some of those entrances are versus other ones. So, 
kind of looking ahead. So Nautica's done. We're not going to do Cults of the Lamb tonight. I've already been streaming Subnautica all day. We did taxes as well during that, like, two and a half, three hour break that I took. Like, Subnautica 1 did have the issue of feeling kind of barren after a while, but it was an open ocean. Like, it felt like it was supposed to be more barren. And once you got down deeper, you got to see a lot more biomes and you got to see a lot more genetic diversity. This one didn't have the diversity to it. I was not in wanting to read all of the, you know, PDA scan points and everything. It was very much, I just want to find what I need and I want to leave. Subnautica 1 wanted me to, ex like, I felt like I wanted to explore and I wanted to get to know the planet and the biomes of each planet and the different plants of each biome. This one I didn't have that love for it this time, which is just kind of weird. I don't know if that's just because I felt like I was on a time crunch with it being, you know, I got to finish it before the end of January, or if it was just the fact that you don't really have a direction until Alan pings something, or you get close enough for Alan to ping something, but then he still doesn't give you a waypoint, so you're still wandering around, you're just kind of like, at least, I think this is what, 16 hours of playtime for me? At least six of those 10 hours, or 16 hours, is me just wandering around lost in the same circle over and over and over again, trying to find the one little cave that I need. So, like, it's got its pros, it's got its cons. It's still a beautiful game. It's still really nice. I wish we had gotten to see more with Alan's homeworld. I understand that they left it how they left it for just kind of, you know, you can decide if it was a happy or sad ending. But it, it definitely feels like it, they wanted that open-ended ending, and I'm not really a fan of open-ended endings in that way. But it's still a good game. I'm still gonna. I'm still excited for Subnautica three or whatever. Okay. Subnautica one. Character wants to leave. Player wants to find out everything. Below zero. Character wants to find out everything. Player wants to leave. Pretty much. Pretty much a good summary of it, Boa. Um. Okay. So tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah. Tomorrow's Thursday. So I get. I'm supposed to get off work at 10 a.m. because I open. We're supposed to start at noon my time, which I'm sorry to those of you Central Standard Time in the U.S. That's 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for you East Coast folks. We are doing our Pokemon Gen 1 playthrough on the GameCube. So it's the OG cartridge and everything. There's currently a voting poll for that. Uh, right now, yellow is in the lead by two points. So we're looking like yellow, which I'm fine with. Fair warning. The capture card's a little bit wonky sometimes with the GameCube, but I've gotten it to where it's mostly working. <laughs> Friday night will be Power World, so noon central time. If anyone wants to hop on the server and we don't have the four slots filled, we can do Power World. Saturday I'm off, Sunday will be more Power World. <laughs> You're starting the best Pokemon games and doing it when I can't watch. I mean, the VOD will be up and it'll eventually make its way to the YouTube channel. Now, when I say eventually make its way to the YouTube channel, I've actually been uploading everything, all the VODs directly week by week basis, but everything's backlogged to like May. So like this Subnautica playthrough won't air until May. <laughs> so fair warning. Eva! Don't assault me with Eevees or Pikachus. Don't assault me with Pokemon. Eva! Damn it, Boa. Um... But Sunday, we're looking at starting around 2 o'clock in the afternoon, my time. So 7 a.m. Central Time for Power World. Just working around my work schedule. God. Well, there's the TNT. <laughs> you get Archer? <laughs> um, let's see. What did I say? We had until the 5th, I think, on the other poll. Yeah, so February 5th is when the next poll that we currently have ongoing ends. That is our month, game of the month for the month of February. We have Detroit Become Human in second place. A Highland Song doesn't have any votes right now. And The Venture of Link is leading with five points. So, looking like The Adventure of Link. But we'll see how that goes. Just a heads up to get you kind of, kind of, I know it's early, but... The month of March, there'll be two weeks where I don't stream. There'll be two consecutive weeks where I take some time off. And that's because we're doing stuff for family and everything else. So, 
I will not be online a whole lot. I will not be on Discord a whole lot. Like, I'll be lurking in the Discord, but I won't be, like, actively in my Discord. I won't actively be doing anything else, like, playing games-wise. So, fair warning on that. That'll be early March. i will be far less helpful with uh, the adventure of Link because I've not beaten myself. That's fine, Boa. We will suffer through it. If I have to, I can look up clues and stuff for hints. I'll try not to look up walkthroughs or anything like that. But I think I think obviously this is where we call it. So I think this is where we're going to call it. This is where we call it. We've beaten the game. I'm not doing anything else today. Uh, let me check something here. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and raid into Critter. Because Cutest Critter is live with Teamfight Tactics. And Critter raided us yesterday. So we're going to go ahead and raid Critter back. And I will catch you guys next time. Wait, is she wrapping up? Oh no, she's feeding the cats. Okay, so we're going to raid in the Critter. Queue up the raid. I'll get the raid commands for you guys. If you don't have the emotes, use the first one. If you do have the emotes, please use the second one. Be good for Critter and everything. Give her some good vibes, guys. And I will catch you guys tomorrow to start our Gen 1 Pokemon playthrough. Bye, guys.